Hello photography students. I wanted to show you a demo here of making a contact sheet that's going to be uploaded to the classroom. You're going to have an assignment three this week that will require three images to be uploaded. To save and, and, um, time, energy, and have good workflow in this classroom, I want to establish some um, processes that will help you in this regard and make everything very streamlined. So I'm in the Adobe Bridge. I'm actually in CS5, but that's not a big deal because it really didn't change too much um, from CS4 to CS5. If you're still working in CS3, I encourage you to look at the tutorial that's in Assignment 3 um, and, and take a look because contact sheets are very different in that version of the software. But um, in CS5, it's not a big deal. So what you're looking at is the bridge, and the bridge is um, automatically installed in your machine when you have Photoshop. And it's one of the most handy programs that I've used because I consider it my light table, my old school light table as a photographer where I could see all my images. And there's actually, for uh, you graphic designers, there's a lot of ways to link um, files to other programs like Illustrator and InDesign through the bridge too. So it's not just essentially for Photoshop users, but it's also for people that um, use uh, many programs in the Creative Suite. I'm in something called Essentials. Essentials, uh, there's four different modes of viewing in the bridge. Essentials, film strip, metadata, and output. The ones we mostly use in our class would be either Essentials and then output is where we make the contact sheets. So looking at this, I have a folder open of Nepal and the Chitwan jungle where I was in the spring. Um, if I go to output and click the output part, um, that's where you make your contact sheets. But first I just want to show you something in essentials um, that's very handy. Sometimes you'll need something called metadata. You'll need information on your files that you shoot for me. The best place to see those would be if you or in essentials, if you come over to this area, you can see I shot this um, picture at f11 at 250th of a second, and I used 500 ISO. Um, and so all the information on the files are available in this area to view. So that's really handy. To change a file um, name, let's say I had you do a contact sheet and I wanted to see the f stops, the aperture settings that you're going to be learning about. Um, week three or the shutter speeds that you're learning about in week two, all you have to do is just click in the, in the uh, bridge on the um, file name and you could change it to F11 or so on. Okay. Um, now going back to output, um, I will choose, let's say, three photos because that's what you have to do for um, for your project this week. I'm chosen three photos and I'm in output mode and if I go here I would choose letter size, picture, um, the document size 8.5 by 11. Choose quality of 150 ppi. 72 is a little low res but anything higher than that is going to give you wicked uh, issues with uh, uploading to the classroom. Your file is going to be too big. So do that. Um, now, I put in um, some of the tutorials that you could put more than one image on one sheet, but I've been liking um, this, this feature here, one column, one row, and repeat photo, one photo per page. And that way, what you're going to get is one, you're going to get one PDF document to upload to the assignment area, but it's going to have three pages. So I would choose that, and then you go down to the bottom and click Save. Now at this point I'm going to show you how I'd like all the files um, labeled for the class. Norris, which is my last name, so you put your last name, oops. Then I would do fund 134, and this part's for you because you need to keep everything organized that you do in your program studies. W, so week 1, and then assignment 3. And this way you can keep track of all your assignments in the class. The underscore part is a good idea to do because it, it prevents files from corrupting. So now the PDF is done. I'm going to minimize the um, bridge here for a minute and go to my desktop. And here is um, the PDF that I made. So we have one page. 
we have two page, and we have three page. So once again, it's probably good if you label like this area, label them before you upload so that we'll know the context of each file, um, whether it be technical information or conceptual information, and then putting it together. This way I can really see your, your work too. I can see good detail in, um, in these um, images. Okay, so I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions, know there are tutorials in week one, assignment three. And please remember to uh, name your files as I just showed you.